हेलो मैम माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज थ्रॉटलिंग प्रोसेस सेकंड क्वेश्चन प्लीज सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम ऑन थ्रॉटलिंग प्रोसेस when steam is passing through the restricted opening then that process is known as throttling process it is also known as the constant enthalpy process we will understand this with the help of diagram now here at this point 1 there is the inlet of fluid now this fluid is passing through this narrow aperture and at point 2 there is the outlet of fluid so here throttling of steam is taking place now what are the characteristics for this throttling process so first there is no heat supplied or rejected so whenever this throttling process is taking place then we can say that heat transfer during the process 1 to 2 that is q12 is equal to 0 so this is very important so whenever there is the question to calculate the heat transfer during the throttling process then we have to write here as a 0 then no work done by expanding fluid so here no any work done is taking place when the steam is passing from this point 1 to the point 2 so during the process 1 to 2 there is no any work done that is w12 is equal to 0 then no change in internal energy so internal energy that means u2 minus u1 that so we can also say that du is equal to 0 so here no any change in internal energy so whenever there is the question to calculate the internal energy work done and heat supplied during the throttling process then we have to write all the answers is equal to 0 now this throttling process we can say that here the constant enthalpy process that means enthalpy at point 1 is equal to enthalpy at point 2 so we will say that enthalpy remains constant that is h1 is equal to h2 now we will solve one problem for the throttling process i will read what is the given question steam at a pressure of 14 bar with 80 kelvin of super heat is throttled to a pressure of 8.5 bar determine the temperature of steam after throttling the specific heat of superheated steam may be assumed as 2.2 kJ per kg kelvin so this was the given question let us understand initial condition of steam and final condition of steam with the help of steam table now for initial condition pressure p1 is 14 bar that is given and 80 k of superheat that means here the value of superheating over the dry and saturated temperature is given that is 80 kelvin so we have to take here the difference that is t1 superheat minus t1 is equal to 80 k now what is this temperature t1 so this is the dry and saturated temperature for the pressure of 14 bar and this is the superheated temperature If that is given for the initial condition of steam so this is the degree of superheat that is above the saturated temperature what is the amount of superheating that is given that is 80 kelvin now we can say that from this given data initial condition of steam is the superheating of steam that is the steam is getting superheated so we will final this that is this condition of steam now we will find out what is the final condition of steam so how to find out the final condition of steam now here the pressure is given p2 is equal to 8.5 bar now at this 8.5 bar pressure we will find out what is the enthalpy of saturated steam so we will refer here the pressure table and in this pressure table here is the 8.5 bar we have to find out and at this 8.5 bar value of hg that is 2769 kJ per kg now what is the temperature so 8.5 bar again we will find out temperature that is 172.9 degree celsius so we will convert this temperature into kelvin that is 445.9 kelvin so this is the saturated temperature for final condition that is we will say t2 now how to decide what is the condition of steam whether it is wet steam dry and saturated steam or superheated steam how to 
decide. Now this process is here if we observe the process is taking place that is the throttling process and this process is nothing but the constant enthalpy process. So we will first find out what is the value of H1 that is the enthalpy at point 1. So what is the formula to decide the enthalpy for the superheated steam. So we know that enthalpy for superheated steam that formula is Hg plus Cp. We have to take difference T superheated minus T1. Now Cp that is the specific heat of superheated steam is also given 2.2 kJ per kilogram Kelvin. Now H1 is equal to Hg1 plus Cp T1 superheated minus T1. So this T1 superheated minus T1 is given 80 Kelvin. Hg1 so from steam table we can find out the value for 14 bar. So for 14 bar value of Hg is given 2787.8 and when we solve this 2963.8 kJ per kilogram. Now this enthalpy at point 1 is equal to enthalpy at point 2 because here the throttling process is taking place. So we can say that H1 is equal to H2 and therefore H2 is equal to 2963.8 kJ per kilogram. Now we have to compare the value of H2 and Hg2. Now if this H2 is more than this Hg2 that is the uh, enthalpy for the saturated steam then this is the superheated steam because when we observe the graph that is I will draw here the graph for the graph then here for the wet steam here is the temperature so if we observe for wet steam temperature remains constant and for the superheated steam the temperature is getting increased now here is the enthalpy Hg at this point now for this 8.5 bar, this is the line for the constant pressure. So for 8.5 bar, Hg value is 2769 kilojoule per kilogram. But here H2 value is 2963. So 2963 is more than this. So we will say that here 2963.8. So we can say that after the saturated, there is the superheated steam. So for this enthalpy we can say that for the final condition of steam, steam is superheated. So I will write here, here is the superheated steam. So now we can apply here the formula for the superheated steam. Now we can say that H2, H2 is equal to H1 and H2 is equal to 2963.8. H2 is equal to Hg2 plus Cp. T2 superheated minus T2. Now here this is the temperature of superheated steam for the final condition of steam minus saturated temperature for the pressure of 8.5 bar. So again if we observe for the pressure of 8.5 bar what is the temperature given 172.9 degrees Celsius. So we can convert this into Kelvin and we will take this temperature. Now value of Hg2 is also known so we will put the value and here only one unknown term that is the temperature of superheated steam. So T2 superheated is equal to now here T2 is in Kelvin so we get this value of T2 superheated in Kelvin that is 534.4 Kelvin and which is equal to 261.4 degree Celsius.